you guys all know about this thumb technique? Should I do like a, you know what we're talking about? Or should I like break it down a little bit? Break it down like this. All right, cool. Um, um, so basically, it's like slap bass, but instead of a single attack, you can get an upstroke similar to alternate picking. And part of his question was getting an articulation out of it. Actually, my nail broke a few days ago, so I have zero thumbnail. So this is maybe it will be illustrative that I guess even without a lot of nail, you can still get the tone. But um, that sounds very distorted. Let me see. So I'm going down, up, 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 like that. And I'm muting quite a bit with my left hand. And then, like I said, you need a single coil voicing on your guitar or a sp like a split sound because a lot of it comes from that scooped, bright sort of timbre. Like if I did it with my neck pickup, I mean, it kind of works, but it sounds a lot better. You know, like that. It's just more teeth, right? Um, Technique-wise, I would um, almost imagine as if instead of sh striking the note, you're actually um, releasing the note. Like I'm pushing it, and then the tone, the sound comes from the note, like coming out. Like, does that make sense? Like a rubber band, right? Um, so maybe to help with you do an exaggerated practice where you, um, you're not doing it fast at all, but you're kind of doing like a, like an exaggerated on like bow and arrow style thing where you're kind of putting a lot of tension on the string. Um, but yeah, basically I combine phrases by adding fingers to create no groupings like groups of two, which would be like, and then three would be, one, two, three. Um, so I'm plucking, I'm going down, up, and then I'm plucking with my index finger. So you got. That sort of thing. And then you can get groups of four um, by going one, two, three, four. Uh, Groups of five. And then you can combine like hammer-ons and stuff like that to get greater note groupings. Um, I will say when you're working on it, it, it's strange. Like it feels like you'll never get it sometimes. I remember like I did it for months and I had a friend who taught me, he played bass and he was shredding it. And I was like, dude, that's so sick. And then I was trying it, but it just never was clicking. And then one day I was jamming with a drummer and because I was trying to lock with this drum groove, like I started physically kind of doing it differently. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh. And it, it was just like, it seemed like no progress. And then all of a sudden something clicked. So if you're feeling frustrated, I think it's because it's kind of a, it's not the most intuitive way of using your thumb. You know what I mean? But I think um, once you get it, you'll forget that you couldn't do it before. So try to look into that hypothetical future of your thumping self. Hopefully that helps. And grow your nail out a bit, not too long. Actually, learning some classical guitar helps too because you get used to using your right hand. Yeah, especially for like when you're using the other fingers. It's like really helps. Like learning classical guitar really helped me to have control over more than just like a pick.